Shane is signing his first box of his new books today. He's very excited. Baby, can you please open your eyes? <laughs> Aren't you excited? Next. We're almost done with this box and then we just have those. <laughs> Shane and I just got to the zoo. My mom is here with my niece. So we're gonna walk around for a little bit. <laughs> Let's see the house. I need that story. That's comfy. Wait, Emma, two outfits. Outfits? Yeah, and I want to make a piece. We've been abandoned. What were you saying? Shane, stop that, Shane. Stop that, Shane. What was I doing? Uh oh. Shane goes super fast. Yo. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at him snuffle. Aww. He's so big. You can tell how old a female pig is by counting the number of nipples on its underbelly. One nipple for every year, which is a handy way to tell the age of a pig. Nope. You want to give me your sunglasses? Hi. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll take your sunglasses too. Farmer. Hi, farmers. Hello. I like the bunny. You have the bunnies. Horses. Horses. Can I hear you? Can you hear me right now? Look at you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That was a cool move. I jump off. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. There's a war being waged between the red Noki and the and the green Noki. Green's winning. Hello Lynn. I'm so far. I know. It's the first warm day of spring. It's like 66 degrees right now and sunny. So we are feeling good. Happy. We're feeling it's so happy. So nice. We had a delicious meal. Yeah. Uh, if you live in Minneapolis, we recommend a rezzo at 50th in France. I just had the most delicious pasta. And I had nosy that melted in my mouth. They're so soft. Uh, I'm like on the verge of nausea now though, because I'm so so full. And yet you ate the bread for four people. Yeah, I ate the whole bread basket. You know, I think that a sign of maturity is um, not eating all of the bread that they give you before uh -huh. the meal comes. And I have never, ever been Got able it. to not eat all of the bread. So you're still a kid? Every, yeah, I'm not mature. I think when I'm able to see the bread come to the table and have one piece, or even none. And say, that was yummy. And say, that was delicious. I'm and then not have the other meal. six pieces. I have never not finished the loaf of bread. I can't be alone in that. You there. It's so hard. Then I'll convince me to drive on the sidewalk, which is a lot bumpier. Although I have to say, the sidewalks in Minneapolis are much nicer than other places I've been. Like Pennsylvania. They're yeah. terrible in Pennsylvania. They're or at least in your town. Very smooth here. They are. They're new. They just redid them. Last summer, they marked all of the sidewalk squares in our neighborhood. Like in the large neighborhood. Like yeah, like in Minneapolis as yeah. a city. <laughs> they marked any of them that had cracks that were like Making an accessibility issue. It was like legitimately like they called it like an accessibility thing. Yeah, and, this is the example. and then they went through and repaved yeah. everywhere where there was a bump on the sidewalk. So these are three new ones because they were bumpy. They're going to fix this one. That's what that means. 
since it gets so cold in the winter in Minneapolis, many of the land critters that are small enough will burrow inside the trees and make these nests in the trunk of the tree. And then they freeze there. That's how you get these large bumps on the bases of trees. Nope. trying to get a trick shot on camera. Wow. Ooh, good. It is Easter and we are packing Shane's new book into boxes to send out this week. So far we've done like 12. I think I'm getting into the hang of it. It's taking me less and less time each time. Shane has to sign all the books and then we put a slip into them about his nonprofit because that's where these books were purchased through. And then I bubble wrap them and set up a box, fancy little box, and then seal the box up with some tape and Shane is fixing all the labels and like making them and printing them. So then we'll slap those on and we'll be done. Mm -hmm. We should do 300 and some. So we're getting started. Make an ASMR video of this. Probably. Yeah, right, right, you're doing it. Nice, nice. Gently press. Gently pressing the insert. You have to show each page. Yeah. How much, Do you have how scissors? Much yeah. Just enough to keep it fairly safe from, um, like, uh, one wrap, one yeah, like yeah. And as manager, you can see that I'm not doing anything. Everyone looks very serious. <laughs> yeah, they are actually having, <laughs> Disney songs they're having playing. fun. <laughs> We got Disney going. Smoothie. I feel like I said that like Haley. <laughs> you sounded like E.T. Smoothie. What does E.T. say? Smoothie. No, but oh, what? Phone home? E.T. phone home? E.T. phone home. Oh, okay. So I sound like... Wow. 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 You sound like Wow. 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 Always my favorite movie besides E.T. <laughs> I jumped into old smoothie box, reached out and said, hey, do you like smoothies? I said, mm-hmm. <laughs> they said, do you want some smoothies? We make healthy smoothies that you make on your own. We send you the ingredients and you freeze them and then blend them when you want them. And they're high in all kinds of good things that are good for your body, even my body. <laughs> and they sent us one that was just so nice. Ooh. We're gonna have an endless supply of smoothies, Shane. This is so good. You know what I, you know what I say about smoothies? Right? What did I say about smoothies? No, what I say about smoothies. Oh, what do you say about smoothies? You don't have to chew them. 
You just have to swallow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>